Alright, so I am about to ruin my own day. Uh, online Marvel. I actually haven't played this in a very long time. Like, the last video I posted, I think I actually, that, like, that match that I posted that day was, like, a week and a half before I actually posted the video was when I played, and that was the last time I played. I have not, sh I have not touched this game since. I've been practicing uh, cross Tekken and then just playing other random stuff. Because, I mean, honestly, like, this game... I loved it. I did love it. I loved playing offline. I loved going to tournaments. I loved playing against the tournament community, etc., etc. I even enjoyed some of my time online. Some of it, not a lot of it, but some of it. But now it is kind of, you know, it's kind of solidifying into that, like, that rut that happens after a game's been out for a while of, like, nobody's really discovering anything new. Nobody's really trying to do anything new. They're kind of going to what's familiar and, like, what works and so like you're seeing god knows how many dooms <laughs> so many virgils it's depressing so anyway i have tried i've been kind of just like randomly going all over the place looking for matches looking for a good connection and it's just i don't know they've been hard to find so uh we'll see hopefully what was like I, I know what i wanted to do but i don't know where the hell the characters are there's one Numero 2 is right here. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Now we're right. Now we're doing everything right. That's actually a bad idea. Like, using... <laughs> Speaking of finding people that are just settling into what's familiar, this was a great first match to find. Ah. Uh... This isn't even a bad connection either, and he immediately dry teleports. The homie immediately fucking dry teleports. Fucking high quality online gameplay right here. Ah, like I really talk about that how how boring high level Marvel is getting, and then we get a player like this dude. that out too and I still didn't block it fast enough but yeah this player is just I'm gonna just kill Virgil I'm gonna just make sure I kill Virgil because fuck Virgil and now I'm pretty much like I really I just don't even care anymore look at this and now he's just spamming foot <laughs> Yo, that high quality gameplay. That high quality, that was my fault. That was my own fault. I don't know how to play these characters. Of course I'm gonna run into foot dives nonstop. But yeah, this game. This dude is a perfect example. Just an absolutely perfect example of what I was talking about. Just an absolutely terrible player that counts on fucking lucky ass cross ups. <gasps> oh, that wouldn't have happened if Rocket Raccoon wasn't so damn small. That's what's kind of hilarious. Like that wouldn't have worked on anybody in the cast. Speaking of, oh fuck, that's right, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I forgot how to use Rocket Raccoon, who can blame me, I haven't used him in like months. So we're going to go back to there, and we are going to see if this player is an intelligent man that knows that nobody wants to play against this kind of shit. Nobody cares, so I'm going to just take myself off battle and see if he leaves by himself, or if I have to go search in other places because this dude is not somebody that anybody nobody wants to play you nobody gives a shit about you shoo go away nobody cares no go away shoo i'm gonna wait for what time is on there right now we're gonna wait for 4 40 and if he does not there we fucking go so, oh my god i'm so happy homie got the hint so absolutely thrilled by it like, nobody wants to play that, and you know, the moment- Did he even hit a button? I'm actually thinking about this now. I'm pretty sure he did not hit a button with Doom that was not mid-combo that was not S. Which is hilarious to me. But no, I mean, I bet you money. What do you- what do you- what do you have to say? Nobody cares what you have to say. 
Okay, sure. Yeah, that, that was it. That was- Oh, that actually made me- Did you see that shit? Homie has a one-star reputation. That's- I didn't even know that was possible. Like, I mean, just let me show you while we're wait- Hopefully waiting for another dude. Let me show you my own shit. My own avoidance rate. View rep. That's what we want to do. I mean, as you saw, we saw five stars. Now, look at how many people have ignored me. That's actually better. I used to be 2575. But yeah, look at this shit. This is hilarious. Look at the quit early. I have never rage quit. Actually, no, I did rage quit a couple times in Vanilla Marvel. That's, that is, okay, I'll give you that one. I did actually rage quit a couple times out of Terrible Connections in Vanilla Marvel. I did do that. But anyway, like, I mean, anybody that plays any multiplayer game is going to look like this or much worse than this. No matter what, guaranteed, you're going to look that bad. And even then, I still have a five-star thingy. That homie only has one. Tells you something. Tells you that nobody likes Virgil. All right, so let's try that shit again. Hopefully this person reset their rank and is not a true rookie and does not... I can never remember where the characters are. Hopefully this person... God damn it, I'm doing the wrong thing again. Hopefully this person reset their rank and is not a true rookie. And is just trolling. Oh, maybe I should use Spitfire twice instead. Why do you use Spitfire twice instead? Because, I mean, Pendulum... Oh my god. <laughs> Pendulum is a great assist. However, not so much for anybody that needs a wall bounce to do damage. Nemesis needs a wall bounce to do damage. Oh, this connection sucks too. Oops. Oops, I, my bad. My bad, I let him mash. My bad, 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 my bad. Fuck. I didn't mean to hit that button. I was just, I was just like doing the casual mash right there. Because I was expecting, homie, to not fucking drop a Virgil combo. Seriously, it's Virgil. Nobody dr ever drop Virgil combos. They're piss easy. Actually, you know what? I will give it to him. This is a completely trash connection. So never mind. You know, you 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 do what you gotta do. This is a bad idea to pick. So I'm gonna just bail on this and just try player... I guess I'll try player matches again. I don't know. Damn it, Rocket Raccoon. Like, seriously, why is this dude using Jam Session in the neutral game? My bad for hitting the button. My bad for hitting the button. I didn't know that combo. Kudos to you. I honestly had no idea that combo. My Storm's dead. My Storm that I don't know how to play is dead. That might have been too late. X Factor Rocket Raccoon comeback. I got this shit. <laughs> oh my god, that actually worked. I thought I fucked it up. Not entirely sure why I got hit there. Honestly, don't know. So yeah. Ugh. Fucking online. I hate, I hate my life. I hate my life. Like, y'all wonder why you don't see Marvel videos anymore. This is why. Virgil is why. I don't give a shit about Dante. I don't give a shit about Strider. Virgil and Doom are why. There is no enjoyment in playing though. They are the most exceedingly boring characters in the game. Like, granted, this is coming from a dude who loves him some Wolverine. So that means I know how y'all feel. <laughs> I know how boring Wolverine can be. Oh, God damn it, I hate my life. I mean, it's just, it's... I have never played against a Virgil player and enjoyed myself. I have never played against, like, Point Doom and enjoyed myself. Not once ever. I, ugh. Oh, I mean, and it sucks, too, because people are realizing Doom is, by far, the best support character in the game. You do, you, there's no character that provides the same support that he does. Like, you can pick any two characters in the game, 
and then you throw Doom with that team, and he makes that team better. That's just how good his assists are. He has one of the best, arguably the best beam assists in the game. The other one that is up there is uh, Iron Man, but then, of course, that assist comes with Iron Man. So that's a bummer. Um, and then you have... Do I even want to fuck it? Let's just see. Let's see how bad I have gotten with this team. Um, hidden missiles obviously is hidden missiles. That shit's well known. Nobody, nobody needs any more anything about hidden missiles. Everybody knows it's hidden missiles. And even though, like by far, Rocks is his worst damn assist, it's still not a bad fucking assist. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. That was supposed to be a push block. That was supposed to be a throw, but okay, I'll take it. Oh, for the love of God, I suck. That wasn't that wasn't even lag. Like that was just me being shit. My bad, this is stupid. I thought she would have been gone by then. Oh my god, why will my buttons not come out? I have no idea why that just happened. Like, I honestly, I don't. What the? Grab a Okay, whatever. Did her shit just, like, eat my... I suck. I was supposed to be a throw! <laughs> I'm trying not to say a word about the lag. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Oh my god. I'm trying. I'm trying. I won't say a word. Did that actually combo or did I somehow get hit? Because I was holding back. Nice combo. Stupid of me to do, actually. Never mind. Not stupid of me to do. Not even gonna try to do Spencer. Fuck you. Good thing he was expecting. Nice block. X Factor slow ass move. Alright. Dude is going nuts, and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn, and I don't care. This homie going nuts, and I don't care. I should not have slid there, but I don't care. I'm a block the other way. It didn't work, and I still don't care. Uh... I apologize. Why would you, like, you're running out all of your time. I mean, I guess he didn't really have another option there, but I'm literally just going to hold backwards. Like, I, there's nothing, I, I don't need to do anything else there. And I'm not going to even try to do anything else there. So we got a Virgil, Doom, Wesker, and a good connection. Motherfuck that. Pisses, it pisses me off when I get players that play like that in good connections because I don't want to play them and then we get Virgil in shit connection and then we get shit connection again against the player that's actually using like a unique team and does not seem to be completely incompetent with that team but it still sucks why am I get why am I trying to act like I even know how to use Jill she has a move right where the okay well that's we're obviously not gonna find out the game doesn't want me to learn shit right when I start Try and learn shit with Jill. They team me up against the same dude again. They team me up. Yeah, they team me up against the dude. Masterful, masterful utilization of the English fucking language right there. So that does put her in fail crouch, but it. But that was supposed to combo or some shit. 
Maybe it's only on TACs. Yeah, look at- Oh, I didn't even do the right one. Which is the right one? Oh, it's- Okay, it's the A one. <laughs> it's the A one. Like the sauce. Ha! <laughs> ha! 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 I don't think I even How do you... That's how you do it. That would take some work. I would not be able to do that consi- Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do that consistently. Ooh, I didn't know she could combo that. Too bad it's completely useless. Because there's- Well, I'm, I'm- I don't know why I'm talking about that. That actually, That's actually probably quite useful. And I just don't know how to use Jill. Like, why am I talking like I know how to use Jill? It sucks because I always wanted to learn Jill. And then, like, every single time I started to use- I believe I downloaded Jill- Basically right around the time when I started having a falling out with Vanilla Marvel. That was because I was running out of money. I hadn't had a job for a while. I'd been looking for a while. I couldn't find a job. I was running out of money. I fell out of the offline scene. Trying to learn Jill online. Good fucking luck with that. That sounds like a great idea, bro. That didn't work out. So I stopped playing. And then I started playing again. And I started using a different team. I started learning Jill on the side. And then ultimate drop. And I was like, oh, well, why am I going to waste my time learning Jill when she's just going to change? I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to just chill and not do much. And then ultimate came out and Nova happened. And Nova is an awesome dude. And this game's online is not awesome at all. My bad. I just did down, down, S like that's an actual fucking weapon change. Motherfucker. Okay, 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 okay. Eight hits. Eight hits. That's actually like... I need to pick this character. Oops, that was... Like, the best teabagging in the game. It's totally not teabagging, bro. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to test out my weapon changing skills. I'm not teabagging, I swear. I'm innocent. Fuck that shit. We waited all that time. And that's what you give me? That's how you pay me back for all my faithful years playing you? Putting footage of you up on the internet? Trash talking you that entire time, which might explain a few things. Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> what a great random scene that is. I'd be depressed as fuck if I was trying to actually play online right now. That's what they gave me. As you can see, I know Tron distinctly well. Actually, don't you kind of like have to... I, I, that was supposed to be Drill. It wasn't. I actually think this dude... I, play, I tried to play this dude before and it was awful connection. As we saw by the dropping the one fucking bar. Oh, this may be it. This may be it. I'm sorry. That may be all you get. If this is the same dude... You know what? I'm gonna try ranked for shits and giggles. Like, why not? Who gives a fuck? We're going to ranked. I don't even... I don't even give a shit. I'm gonna try to find something. Like, there has got to be a good connection at some place, at some point in time. And now there's not even an excuse for it. Like, right now is prime time on the West Coast on a Saturday afternoon. There's no excuse this time. There's no, ah, oh, you know, I'm playing fairly early in the morning, so obviously only East Coast people are playing. There's no, oh, I'm only playing at 4 a.m., so obviously only Japanese people are playing. <laughs> now it's just, this, this game's Neko. So, why would you ready up? Why would you ever do that to yourself? Why would you ever wish that misery upon yourself? Not even, like, the most masochistic motherfucker in the world would desire this. Would desire playing in a three-bar connection online. I don't see it. I don't think it would happen. And this may be it. This is it. We're- oops, my bad. I didn't even know you could create a session. How stupid am I that I didn't even know that there was a button to allow you to create a session rather than search? Like, I should have known that, but it's been so... Like, I've just been using training mode this entire time for player matches and shit that I had completely forgotten. Like, I should know that. I used to use it. Now that I actually did it, and I remember it, 
so yeah, uh, unfortunately, if we get a match before I finish this unfortunate monologue, then we will, then we will continue. But, uh, I think maybe, no. I was gonna say maybe I would use my Gamefly queue to rent out Marvel on the PS3, just try it out, see if people are still playing that. I actually think I need to try out my dual mod stick again, because as I mentioned before, I've been using the Chun-Li stick, because the Chun-Li stick is Xbox 360 only, so I've been trying to just stick with it, playing this, playing Street Fighter Cross Tech, and playing Darkstalkers. I feel like the he one of the buttons, the heavy button, uh, well actually I feel like that and the stick both are not 100% responsive, in that it may drop some stuff. Like at first I thought, because I've generally only played online, it was just a quirk of online. But now I've been playing arcade mode and Street Fighter Cross Tekken a bunch, and there's just there's been a bunch of unexplained drops that like I can't really fathom correctly. Like I'm dropping quarter circle forward moves. I don't drop quarter circle forward moves. I drop DP motion moves. Quarter circle forward move is like the easiest motion in the planets on the planet. It's like the only one that I can actually do consistently. Now double quarter circles. That's another issue altogether, but thankfully Street Fighter Cross Tekken knew I was terrible <laughs> and decided not to add those in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was thinking about potentially using my game like you to rent this, but now that I'm trying to like, I'm trying to rent a bunch of games that I think may be good to do as playthroughs now, instead or at least to like record as a playthrough and then if nobody's watching them, then end up just doing like a compilation video of the best of moments of the playthrough um but anyway i mean just I, I mean i don't know we saw what happened there like i got terrible matches it was either just a terrible connection terrible player combination of both it's depressing like all the interesting people have gone all the interesting people know that there are no interesting people left and have bailed to greener pastures it's depressing i wish it was not the case I wish I could play this game and bring you like constant, daily, fantastical footage, but Capcom saw fit to give the game shit netcode. Capcom saw fit to give the game Virgil. I will forever be mad about that. I mean, I know some of y'all like Virgil. That's fine. I'm sure there are characters I play. I know Nova and Wolverine both actually get quite a bit of, hey, and Spencer actually. Pretty much any character that like more than four or five people play in the world gets hatred now that I think about it. Like, at some point in time, somebody somewhere is sick of seeing that character. Or one player with Morgan in the case of Chris G. <laughs> uh, I actually like Morgan. I mean, like, it's it's really interesting to watch because trying to like think of how you would get around it. Because people need to stop looking for counter picks to Morgan. I don't know why I'm getting all like trying to think at a high level talk right now because it doesn't matter <laughs> nobody watches my videos to see high level play that's that's for fucking sure i'm sitting over here picking nemesis storm rocket raccoon despite the fact that i have never even taken them to training mode once i don't have any tech with those characters and yet i'm picking them and now here i am talking about tournament level play but anyway people need to stop looking for counters to Morgan. People need to stop thinking that Morgan has to have a counter. They need to learn how their characters, I mean, now granted, they need to learn whether or not their characters are free to Morgan because there are plenty of people out there who are using characters that are completely free to Morgan and they just keep on doing it nonstop. Prime example, Filipino champ continuing to fucking use Phoenix. Smart plan against a dude that's got soul drain combos good idea and then he brings out a hawkeye that's worse than mine at final round <laughs> what the fuck was that that was depressing to watch was what that was um but anyway so you know like people need to stop looking for like a straight counter for something that's just like oh morgan's free to this they need to stop doing that they need to basically take it i mean the way i've analyzed it in my mind was basically thinking about persona 4 arena and how to fight mitsuru there are no counters to mitsuru in persona 4 arena She's too good. Like, I don't think... I mean, granted, I don't know. Maybe the metagame has changed. I don't think that game was deep enough to have a big, gigantic metagame change since I stopped playing and paying attention to it. But, either way, um, 
Mitsuru didn't have any bad matchups. She did not have a counter. Yet, you still could beat her. She wasn't unbeatable. And that's the thing that people are like, I'm seeing constantly people making the mistake of saying, Morgan doesn't have a counter, she's unbeatable. Mitsuru doesn't have a counter, but she's beatable. Now, granted, Hidden Missiles is a retarded-ass assist, and they need to fucking just kill that shit. Get rid of Hidden Missiles. That shit is retarded. For so many reasons, and, like, whenever somebody brings it up, it's basically always, but Hidden Missiles are always out! And they're like, you know, they'll always be a combo breaker and blah, blah, blah. Nobody ever brings up the fact that Hidden Missiles is so broken because the minute the last missile hits the person, Doom is ready to be called again. Like... It takes up so much time having to block those hidden missiles or to avoid those hidden missiles that Doom is out again by the time you've even reset the neutral game. That's the retarded part about it. Obviously, there are other retarded parts not going away when he gets hit. The fact that they break out of break out of combos, the fact that they track so incredibly well. But just the fact that they can be called so often and be such a consistent presence is their biggest issue. Again, why am I trying to talk about a high level of the game like Capcom gives a fuck about this game anymore? Like they're even going to think about changing the game. They don't care. They don't. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop wasting y'all's time. And I'm going to try. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe. Maybe I'll get the PS3 version in the future and it will be just a glorious return to glory. Yep. I used that sentence. It'll just, it'll, you know, it'll be a wonderful time. There'll be a ton of character diversity. Everything will be sunshine and rainbows and my little ponies and shit. But until then, we're just going to get anger and hatred and wanting to kill myself because Virgil and Doom exist in this game. Son of a bitch. <laughs>